there exist a total of 79 acknowledged moons orbiting Jupiter. Now, imagine this intriguing scenario, what if we relocated Earth into the orbit of Jupiter? How would the formidable gravitational force of Jupiter, with its super strength, impact our daily lives? Picture this, our skies transformed, a frozen planet with volcanic eruptions, and the challenge of survival. Have you ever bumped into an old friend in the most unexpected place, realizing it truly is a small world? Well, brace yourself for the revelation that Jupiter, the colossal gas giant, could accommodate over 1,300 Earths. It's not just a small world, it's a tiny one. To put things into perspective, envision Earth reduced to the size of a grape while Jupiter expands to the dimensions of a basketball. With our solitary moon, contrasted against Jupiter's grand total of 79 moons and still counting, it's evident that Jupiter is a celestial heavyweight. The prospect of orbiting Jupiter might be a dream for Instagram enthusiasts, but in this scenario, snapping a picture won't make your existence any longer. Imagine waking up to an exceedingly frigid morning, attributed to Jupiter's location 778 million kilometers away from the Sun. This distance results in a mere 25 times the luminosity and heat we currently experience on Earth. Daylight persists, but if we draw a parallel between Earth and Jupiter's closest moon, Io, days would stretch to approximately 40 hours. However, the length of the day becomes a trivial concern when survival is an everyday struggle. Living on Jupiter's Earth moon entails grappling with extreme tidal forces generated by the gravitational pull from Jupiter's neighboring moons and the planet itself. Despite the cold external environment, our moon would internally experience substantial heat. Picture a world where the cold might not be the ultimate threat, daily earthquake tsunamis and volcanic eruptions could pose an equal danger. Alternatively, the scorching heat might be your nemesis, given that Jupiter's magnetic field is 10 times more potent than Earth's, emitting a million times more radiation. For those determined to make life on Jupiter's Earth-Moon work, the best refuge lies underground. A year on Earth would equate to a month on Jupiter, considering Jupiter's 12-year orbit around the Sun. Each month on Jupiter witnesses the planet being bombarded by an average of 12 to 60 comets or asteroids, both large and small. These celestial impacts hold greater consequences due to Jupiter's gravitational pull, propelling objects to collision speeds of about 216,000 km per hour at a minimum. Should Earth become one of Jupiter's moons, we'd find ourselves in the cosmic firing line. Our smaller planet would be less equipped to absorb such impactful collisions. Living underground becomes the safest option. However, there's a catch, there's nowhere left to hide when a sizable asteroid obliterates your underground sanctuary. Kudos for participating in this celestial experiment, but pitting a grape against a basketball was inevitably harsh. Yet, credit is due for your style, courage, and, above all, curiosity. Keep asking questions, the sky's the limit. I hope you've enjoyed this incredible imaginative journey through the cosmos and the potential consequences of turning Earth into one of Jupiter's moons. The universe is truly fascinating, filled with challenges and wonders that expand our understanding. If you enjoyed this deep dive into cosmos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss any captivating episodes like this one. Click the subscribe button below, turn on notifications to stay updated on all the latest, and join our cosmic community. And now, the most exciting part, we want to hear your thoughts, theories, and questions. Leave your comment below, sharing what you thought of this episode and which other intergalactic, what-ifs, you'd like to explore in the future. Your engagement is crucial to continue this journey into the unknown. So, subscribe, hit the bell, and let's build together a community passionate about science and exploration. We look forward to having you on board as we continue to venture into the frontiers of knowledge. Until the next episode, fellow Cosmos Explorers.